Day is one month away, and are you tense? Do you need to relax about it? We've got Ken Butsy here to help you calm down. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. You have a really good piece of info. Oh, by the way, you need to get pen and paper for this. We've got five basic points that you're going to go over, and it's all good stuff. You have a good piece of information to tell everybody that tax day this year is not April 15th. It's not April 15th. It's mm -hmm. April 18th because and there's a federal holiday on the 15th. What is it? Emancipation Day. Okay, on my calendar, I checked. It's the beginning of Passover on my calendar. Okay, it's not that emancipation, <laughs> but that's good to know. Yeah, it's Emancipation Day. So when this happens, uh, it's about every seven years, it gets pushed back to the next business day, which happens to be the 18th, which is the Monday, I believe. Okay, so how does that affect us? We it just have three really more much. days. You, just have to you have that weekend. Okay. To be miserable. <laughs> All right. Great. Great. So what do we need to know about 2010 and preparing our taxes? Well, a couple of things. One is that uh, if you have not yet made contributions um, to your retirement plans for 2010, since you haven't filed yet, it still isn't too late. You can still go ahead and do that. So up, that's Up till April 15th? Up till the day you file, but not beyond April 18th. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And then what else? Don't we have some other things going on with the state taxes, like you don't well, have to pay them? Yeah, the, the, December 17th, the president signed a law which continued a lot, they call it the Bush tax cuts, but continued a lot of those things. Um, but, but some of the major things that are coming down the pipe, which I am really encouraging people to, to think about now, are the tax increases that are set into law particularly for higher income people. Okay. There's some significant tax increases coming, which I think this is a huge year, 2011, to plan for them. Because what, excuse me, what year are they coming? The biggest ones are coming in 2013. Okay. And, and, and here's where I think the planning opportunity comes. One of the things that's going to happen is there's going to be some surtaxes imposed on people at the top level. Okay. And, and some of you may say, well, I'm not nowhere near that. but. Uh -huh. I think what's going to end up happening is it's not going to take much to get some people there because many people, when they start to take money out now, are taking it out of retirement accounts. Mm -hmm. So f just for instance, one day you decide you're going to take out 50000 because you're doing an addition onto the home. Mm -hmm. If you misplan this, there's a chance that that money that you take out could boost your overall income over these thresholds oh. and subject you to these extra taxes. So my point for 2011, 2012 is really start to think about where you're going to be getting money from in the future okay. and, and maybe take some proactive steps this year while you're able. Maybe it makes sense for some people to, to start putting more money into a Roth or converting money to a Roth because those dollars will never be taxed. Or take it out and go on a vacation. Or take it out and take us out of, <laughs> take us out of vacation. Right. Right. Then you have some other thing about the Magi. What? what well, Magi is modified adjusted gross income, and that's it. I know you don't it's like those hard things. to say. But Magi is basically, and that's where I was. At. I had already spoken to that. Basically, um, there's there are things that are going to be excluded from putting you accessible to that tax, and things that are included. So even though money that you take out of your retirement account won't be taxed necessarily at that additional surtax. Mm -hmm. They call it a surtax, I call it a success tax. You're being oh. taxed because you've been uh, successful. Okay. Even though those won't necessarily be, they're going to be included in all of your income that will be. I see. So that's what okay. Magi is. And then there's one other thing about money in a trust. Yes. Um, this is the biggest one. And a lot of people, a lot more people have begun to name trust as the beneficiary of their retirement plans for whatever reasons. Normally, I don't recommend it, but it's very individualized. So on a program like this, it's hard to say you shouldn't do it in a blanket mm -hmm, statement. Mm -hmm. But normally I don't recommend it. But the trust, or the threshold on the trust is $12,000 now. So that surtax is going to come, the success tax is going to affect anybody oh. who benefits a trust and the trust has more than 12000 I, I Okay. It's a so trap you might want to. This is, I mean, it's coming up fast. So we really need fast. to take these points to heart because right. it make a whole difference in your lifestyle if you don't get the right information. Thank you See, so much. See, the way it's coming up fast for me is my daughter starts driving that year. So it's oh, coming up real fast. really fast. <laughs> As always, thank you thank for you. being on the show. If you want to get a hold of Ken to get this really good information, you can call him at 216 Seven five one four two two nine, or go on to his website at integrityfirstplanners.com. Stay tuned. We have Get a Life coming up. Coming up.
Kathy decodes cues and clues when determining if a possible mate wants a date. And next week, their marriage was in trouble. How did they fix it? Find out next week on Can You Relate with Kathy Dawson.